gearing, mud, and main. From north to south campus, Northwestern has three different libraries, each with their own unique style. Built in the neo-Gothic aesthetic that's sprinkled all across South Campus, Deering Library is the oldest library on campus and is a home to Northwestern's archives and art collection. Mud Library reflects the energy of North Campus. Classy and modern, it's the STEM study hub at Northwestern. And centered at the midpoint of the school lies University Library, known to most students as Maine. Big blocky and brutalist, it's the unofficial line between the opposing aesthetics of campus. It's technically supposed to look like books that are coming off of a bookshelf. It's almost like the towers have this anti-gravity thing going on. But why does University Library look so different? Maine is one of eight facilities on Northwestern's campus designed by Walter Netsch. Built in 1970, Maine was a decade-long project. Construction began in 1960, but planning started years before that. An internal letter from librarian Jens Nyholm to the Library Planning Committee, written February 4, 1960, shows just what Northwestern desired out of its new library. The first problem? Poor heating and ventilation. Students and faculty alike needed a place to study that kept them safe from the violently changing elements outside. Noise was another issue. In his letter, Nyholm said that even the smallest sound reverberates from stone walls. But the biggest need was space. Namely, space for the increase in students using the library and for the number of books the library was accumulating. Prior to the construction of Walter Netsch's University Library, the in-library experience of students tended to, at Northwestern, tended to be in large reading rooms with large open tables where you'd be sharing tables with uh, a lot of people. So the solution, a radial shelving system. One of the design requirements for the building was to have a very considerable portion of Northwestern students um, in the building at any given time, for instance, in the the early mid-70s, if you were to come to this spot, it would be wide enough to accommodate a Bentwood Carroll. Before Maine's construction, students had to request a book from the stacks in Deering through the paging system. The new library eliminated that. The radio shelving system opened up the stacks for students to browse and research freely. This design was intentional and a product of the concept that gives Maine Library its signature look, field theory. Netsch's field theory is an architectural aesthetic. It rotates basic squares into complex geometric shapes to create open spaces. From the outside, you can see how main library's towers are on top of a central core that connects them with other parts of the tower. This look was new and modern at the time, inspired by the brutalist style favored by Netsch and many others during the 70s. The incorporation of communal spaces made the library more than just a place for study. It also became a bridge between the students of North and South Campus. But after more than 50 years, has the library's unique architecture aged well? For some, yes, and for others, no. It's to this sort of complicated um, manner of using a library, we've added this weird spiral pattern that makes it hard to simply follow a call number pattern as it goes through shelving. I mean, it's, it's sort of adding another obstacle to what's going on. Um, I had a study group that met in core, could not figure out how to get there. It looked like there was like um, no way to get up the stairs. I didn't understand how the stairs and the elevators connected. Um, I really only knew how to get to like periodicals and brew bike. <laughs> I will often conjure up a memory of someone I may have seen at that particular spot or the weather on a particular day um, is similar to something I knew at some other memorable time in my life or to me it, it is a receptacle for memories. Whether students like it aesthetically or not, Maine Library will continue to be the big stone heart that beats at the center of Northwestern's campus.